Paul, I'm wondering if you could tell us uh, some of your favorite gems of wisdom. For example, a speaker at the Phoenix Marathon last uh, winter said that the goal of every race really should be to walk away having learned something. And that really stuck with me. So I wonder if that brings to mind uh, some of your favorite gems that you think will guide us in our efforts. Yeah, I think um, whoever said that's crazy. You know, I don't know if can, because I think by the time you get to the marathon, end of the last mile of the marathon, you know, you're, you're totally jelly. There's been some serious research that suggests that for every marathon you run, you lose six points off your IQ. So, having run 111 marathons, I think I'm sort of in a minus holding, uh, uh, holding a status right now. And, and you know, it's true because, you know, I tell you that this is the most beautiful urban marathon in the country, but it probably is only going to be most beautiful if you run a half hour slower than your time, because if you're out there trying to go for a PR or a BQ, my feeling is that in most of the marathons where I've had the really success, my peripheral vision narrows down to about half of one degree, and I couldn't care what the scenery is. You know, when you're coming up, is it Summit Avenue you finish on, you know, you're not going to, I ran the Boston Marathon ten times. Uh, and then came back for Runner's World. I was doing an article about the Boston Marathon. And after the fast runners finished, I came jogging back over the course so I could support the people who were finishing in slower times. And I got about a mile away from the finish line. I looked up and there was Fenway Park. And how far is Fenway Park off this course? I'd never seen it. I, that was the first time after 10 times in the Boston Marathon. I never knew we ran by Fenway Park. I never saw it. And it wasn't because I dropped out at 22 either. So, so I think, yeah, beautiful marathons are great in sucking you people into coming here. But once the gun goes off, you know, it's asphalt in front of you, right? you gotta, you got to cover it with every footstep.